Oh, he's gone fish on. He got something. That deserves a brewski. We're now about 150 metres into the truck. And she's a proper washout. Can you tell she's not the one that has to polish the car when we get home? The big fella's coming closer. Don't know if he'll come up to me. I've got an apple to try and entice him. Giddy up, couch potatoes. This morning, we've woken up on Mont Albion Station. A few k's out of Irvine Bank, up on the Atherton Tablelands. Got in late last night. Didn't do much other than eat dinner. And the girls put in some red claw pots. Cut to a quick shot of what Mila caught this morning. Last night I came in and I put away and I put a pot in the dam and this morning I caught a red claw. Today we're going to explore the history of the area and try and find some swimming holes. There's a little grave site we're going to try and get to and a good barramundi fishing spot that we are not going to catch a fish at, but we will try. Grab your togs, your history books and get ready for a day of adventures. Brakes driving, I'm going to do some filming. We're going to start at the furthest point away, see if we can find this grave site first, and then we're going to work our way back, see if we can find some swimming holes. The station's massive, we're going to head to the other side of it and a little bit further, so we've probably got about, well, I'd say 45 minutes till we get to the turn off. I'll pick you up there. We just turned off the main drag. We now hit the four wheel drive territory of the trip. And we're on the lookout for a grave. By my calculations, we've got a few K to go through these bush tracks. Hopefully they're crossable. There's a creek or two to get across. They should be dry at this time of year. Check out the height of these rock piles behind me. Left over from the mining days. They stand well tall. Just a sign of how prosperous this area used to be when the towns existed. This is what we're dealing with. Behind me, Herberton to Petford Road. This way, the track that we're taking to find the grave. We did take one a bit further down. Turned out to be a dead end. This is gonna be an absolute mission if we make it to this one. Fair few k's of this to go. Bit of a goat track. It is a track, it is marked on Hema, but it is very, very rarely used, I'd say. 50 metres in and we got our first washout section. Let's see how the handbrake handles this one. Can you tell she's not the one that has to polish the car when we get home? Might be over before it begins, folks. We're now about 150 metres into the track, and she's a proper washout. See if we can get the big girl through. All right, folks, I'm gonna get her to repeat what she just called out from the driver's seat. <laughs> what do you reckon, babe? This is fucked. We'll bleep that. What do you reckon, babe? This is shit. She doesn't want to continue down the uh, washed out goat track. No, in the pursuit for a freaking gravesite that no one gives a flying beep about. 
I do. Alright, we're going to have to call it here. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you next time. Somewhere off the beaten track. <laughs> Thought you were dramatic. Jokes. We'll call this one here. That gravesite's going unvisited. I'll come back on my own one day. Probably not. This is pretty fucking hectic. Alright, let's go and find somewhere to dip our feet for a swim in this dry, dry landscape. We found a swimming hole. We found a river with some water in it. Mila's gonna dip her toes. She's a little bit nippy, but the girls wanna swim. It is quite warm for a winter's day. Age-old pastime, who can skim the rock the furthest? That was crap. How have these girls not been shown how to skim rocks? Yeah. How do you skim a rock? New mission for the day. Find good rocks. Teach girls how to skim. Watch me skim this one. Oh, good job, Mila. We found a deeper water hole. We're going to have a quick flick before we move on. Fingers crossed, we catch something. Oh, he's gone fish on. He's got something. I think I've got an archer fish. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> well, that's the first time I got an archer fish. Where's the stop, I'd say. I feel it. There we go. There we are. One archer fish down. Okay. Oh, something followed the rod to the bank. Put it in, put it in, put it in, put it in. Who'd have thought in the middle of nowhere we'd find this pristine little oasis and pluck some fish out of it? Just goes to show, take those little detours, you never know what's around the next corner. For now, we're going to jump back in the car, head back towards Irvin Bank, and see if we can find somewhere better for the girls to have a swim, and see what else we can find on the way. Well, after a bit more driving around, mainly to let Mila have a sleep, we couldn't find another swimming hole, so we're back at camp. Going to have a chillax for a few hours. I think Mama wants a um, cold beverage. So do I. So it must be time to crack a beer. Here's one for the missus. And a tin for the big fella. Shout out to Camp Boss for the instant shade on this warm lunchtime. Gonna get the fire going early so we got some coals going. Gonna do a damper for an entree and then we got some pork belly in the campy coming up later on tonight. We're gonna need plenty of coals to cook all that. Luckily, here on Mont Albion Station, you can collect any wood that's already on the ground. So, there is, as you can see behind me, plenty to choose from. Yeah, got the fire lit. That deserves a brewski. If you needed a sign, they're behind me. This is a working cattle station. 20,000 acres of roaming cattle. Here comes the big fella. I've laid down trying to get him closer to me. The big fella's coming closer. Don't know if he'll come up to me. I've got an apple to try and entice him.
Went and collected a bunch of firewood for tonight. That deserves a 10. We've come for a walk down the other end of the dam. Our camp is just behind me about there. There's camps all around. There's not too many people here that we've seen. We can see some new campsites being made. I'll pan around so you can have a look. She's pretty specky. We just scared some cows out of the water. There's pelicans on it. Decent sized dam, full of red claw, as you saw by the girls catch this morning. We saw one little snake getting around, just a little tree snake, enough to scare the handbrake. Please explain to me what that actually means. Well, it means that if you're on a roll, there's one sure way for it to stop, and that's the handbrake. So I'm the logic. Who's the one that didn't want to go down the goat track in the middle of nowhere? Who's the one that didn't want to free camp on the river? Me. Who's the one that doesn't want to traipse through the bush when I see a snake? <laughs> Okay. Handbrake. Major point. The girls have gone for a shower. That deserves a 10. Alright, back from our walk. The girls went and had a shower quickly. They're about, uh, what, 300 metres that way. Not too bad. We just go for a quick drive. Nice and hot. Gas, showers, in the middle of the bush. Gotta love it. Anyway, gonna whip them up a savoury damper now. Feed a bit of those taste buds because the girls won't eat the pork belly for dinner. Garlic, herbs, salt, self raising flour, bacon, onion, and cubes of cheese. Bang it all together, chuck her in the campy. 20 minutes later, you got a feed to die for. The flies around here, off tap at the moment. We're waiting for the, we're waiting for the sun to go down to get rid of them. Can't wait any longer, we're just gonna have to cook with the flies. The girls are chomping at the bit, they love this stuff. Can you hear them in the background? Are you ready? Are you ready? Is it ready? Is it ready? That wasn't set up at all. Anyway, I'll chop all this up, chuck her in, and we'll get her on the fire. Damper's knocked up, couple of quick tips. This is a savory damper. You want chunks of cheese, like cubes so that it melts through it. You don't want it to disappear in there. You want to bite in, get a nice runny bit of cheese. Second tip, milk. Other dampers, use water, savory, use milk. Tastes 10 times better. Third tip, self-raising flour. I have been known to bring plain flour by mistake and it turns out as dense as your mother-in-law. <laughs> so make sure it's self-raising flour. Chuck this on for 20 minutes, she'll be mint. Right, got a few coals underneath. It's up on a trivet so it's not sitting on direct heat. Then a ton of coals on top. Want it to act like an oven, because it's a camp oven. Trial and error, keep checking that bad boy. Open it every five minutes if you're not confident. Right, damper's on to cook. Deserves a 10. And just like that, the damper is done. What do the girls think? Load it in butter and slap it down. We still got a ton of flies, so uh, we're going to smash this down. I'm going to nickel for a shower and then we'll get onto some pork belly. I'll see if I pick up the camera for that one. Welcome to Mount Albion. Welcome to Mount Albion. Welcome to Mount Albion. Welcome back couch potatoes. Did that sound weird? Uh, welcome back couch potatoes. This week, Mont Albion Station. Got ourselves Albion a little- Albion Station, where we've got ourselves a nice little grassy spot. All right, take 20. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the height on these rock piles. Left over from the mining days of the... <sighs> Gonna kick the fire off early today, get some coals going for our fiesta tonight. When I say fiesta... When I say... No. Um, why won't the lights turn up? I think the thing's broken. Turn the dial up. Oh, thanks, babe. I do love him. Sometimes. 
I am world famous for my dampers. Ask this one. How good am I at damper? Pretty good. I'm pretty good at damper, she says. Chunky cheese. Actually. Blooper rail. <laughs> Alright. 